So in the Torres Straits, one of the things that we would do if you were visiting and if you didn't know your way around the Torres Straits, they would give you a map, a bamboo map, which was made up of string, shells and pieces of bamboo that they would tie together. But they would layer the bamboo to be the lines of currents. Hello, my name's Gail Marbo. I'm a Maryam woman from the Torres Straits. My family hail from Murray Island, which is the most easterly island of the Torres Straits. Tagai is the constellation that's in the sky that we navigate by, that we plant by. For me, Tagai is very important. When Cook came to Australia, he didn't find fences. He didn't find farmhouses. He didn't find people, you know, having animals graze on their own property. When he saw that, he just claimed all of Australia for the British. And hence the term terra nullius, meaning land of no one. So if you think about farmers now, they talk about inheriting land from their forebears and from their forebears before them. On my island, we go back 17 generations. To be told that that land was not yours was a bit of a, you know, a red flag to my dad. Yeah, well, he got very angry. And so he took on this fight. It took him 15 years. Mabo to me is my dad. He was a man who changed history. Through his fight for his land, Everyone got to know his name. Nineteen seventy-two. I'm all of seven. Now he would do the school from nine till three. Then when he'd finished that job, then he'd do his real job, which was the groundsman at James Cook University. And so of course, yeah, my hands up. I'm going, yeah, I'm come with you. And like to look at the trees now that we planted together, they're grand, they're, they're like majestic things standing, waving to me as I walk past now. And then there was a cluster of bamboo that he started growing and we'd make sure that the water was on, kept up to that because he wanted it to grow really good. And with my Tagai map, I actually used all the bamboo from what my dad grew. For me, it's connecting my dad in many ways to having that piece sit here that represents the Torres Straits, represents my family, and most of all, my dad. I was invited to this grand place. I thought it needs a grand map. I looked at the star sand my dad gave us when we were little. He took us to the beach where the star sand would be. And he sat us on the beach and made us put out our hand and drop some sand on it. And he says, okay, wipe your hand now. So he wiped it. And then we looked and then we went, oh, we can see stars. This is a three-dimensional print of what the star sand looks like. So if you think about a grain of sand and enlarged under a microscope, and then the microscope then giving me out a printout of what it would be in a printer to give me this as a result. When you see Tagai in the sky, Tagai is actually a man in a canoe. He is standing with his hand out and his hand pointing. In 2015, we were given you know, the honour of having my dad be part of that constellation. In Tagai's left hand sits the Southern Cross. But at the bottom of the longest star, when you look into the bottom, you'll see just to the left of it is the star that is called Koiki. They gave that star to my dad because they thought what he'd done for his people and for Indigenous people, not just in Australia actually, all over the world, to help them become empowered with how they could fight for their own land. The saddest thing was that he never got to see the end of his fight. It was six months after he'd passed away that the verdict came down in his favour. I remember sitting in a car and crying. And as I was crying, I was looking to the sky and I was happy and sad all at the same time. And the clouds were rolling in 
And when I, when I looked, I said to, you know, my son I was holding on my lap, he was only, he was only five months old. I said, Arthur's happy, he's dancing. You know, he's one, he's really, really happy. And for me, I was, that was the proudest day I could be of my dad. He did it, he won. He overturned a 200 year old law. He changed history. And then two years ago, my mum was given a star. You know, it was beautiful. Just to know that her and my dad are together in the sky.